Hey everyone, welcome back to my Maverick channel. Now, what's interesting is that the virtual world is no joke. Now, the items you're seeing right there, you can't get them for less than a thousand dollars and there's many other things. The reason why I'm picking this is because this is utility of NFTs and you can't do anything without them. So if you're confused, stay tuned for the whole video. So guys, this is Decentraland and it's one of the best ways to actually demonstrate the use cases of the virtual space. What you're seeing right here, this is called um, this is called Dice Masters Journey to Antrim. One of the most exciting experiences I've had in Decentraland. So essentially, this is not a video to teach you how to use Decentraland, but Decentraland has these green boxes where you that are specific places within this area. First of all, it has these tiny boxes that are 16 by 16 meters. When you buy more of them, you can create an estate which is bigger, which means you have greater building height. Decentraland gives you with the it gives you a platform where you can actually develop. You can drag and drop these items and create your own experiences. But it also gives you a software development kit where you can program all kinds of experiences, including multiple use cases of the same land. And I'm going to show you how that works. So you have one piece of land, but you can almost deploy it infinitely, which means in the future you could possibly lease it out for multiple experiences now guys people have bought land in the central land and have created different experiences and some of these for example you can see the meta key hq here the headquarters um some of the new games with like Vroomway, they haven't yet gotten their mark but they're here they're created by some of the greatest creators in the central land which is a pretty amazing like we have other coordinates that leads you to things like wonder zone we have uh, wilderness over here we have cyber strife right over here of crumbs now when you go to the coordinates right over here you see dice masters um which is uh, the journey to antrim and it's the game that i'm going to talk about today but these other experiences on this map it's a massive map and you can now guys let's jump right into it why are people making so much money so just like in any game the non-playable characters here um that you can talk to and interact with if you're new to the game for example this is asking you you seem lost is this your first time so you can do all this stuff sort of guys not a guide on how to play this game or whatever but let's just summarize it there's different missions in this game for example this is king gerald you can talk to the guy he starts a mission you know tells you about all this thing there's this guy that's lost there's some conspiracy going on and then you can run all the way to the other end and start the mission but i'll show you a few hints as we play the game but that's not the whole point now you see the wearables that i'm wearing that's a minor jacket and the well the whole overall and the golden sword it comes with the pickaxe that you're seeing the golden sword that you're seeing that's something you get when you reach a when you for example if you look around the king's castle let me just explain the first thing i, I want to explain to you the value preparation of this you can interact with these different stores there's berries that you can collect that you can exchange for health portions from this guy or you can choose to deny or not to do it you can use the materials you collect in this game to select or to buy an item and of course the more powerful the item makes you the more expensive and each of these materials is per item so you can see a distinction the wood you need 500 meat 300 wood 150 iron but for something like the iron sword you need 15,000 meat 12,000 wood 10,000 fire iron so you you get the point and to collect these resources you can of course if you've just started you have very little experience you start off with zero i'm at over two million so i'm quite experienced i did it so that i have enough info to to tell you guys in this game so you can kill chickens or you can also talk to this npc character that tells you to kill the chickens and the chickens give you experiences experience and some other things guys now there's another jacket that you can wear the one you saw at the beginning the lumberjack you can use it to access stuff like this and if you don't have that nft or that jacket you click this door you can't it will say you need 
a lumberjack wearable to open this door, you can find one. When you enter that room, you'll be able to find a guy that you can trade with. Uh, you can trade 500 wood for like 25 coins and stuff like that. And I'm going to show you what these materials are. I just want to sort of run you through quickly what this game is. And there's another NPC character here. All you have to do is to click and mine. Just like the trees, you need to click the trees and mine. If you have this jacket that I'm wearing right now, you can have access to this place where you can see all this cool stuff, the crystals and this, and you can actually gamble here on this machine and get maybe, or you lose. So you gamble with, let's say five iron, you can win 10,000, but if not too many people are using it, there's nothing to win or 10 iron, or you can just grind and mine. You can talk to this guy, exchange a bunch of iron for them. Uh, I'll buy 500 iron for 25 coins. Of course, guys, the coins, you can use them for, they have uh, many use cases in the game. For example, you can trade different materials with other people using the Discord. Now, these guys are looking at creating a dis an exchange within the game where you'll be able to trade all those different materials with other materials all happening seamlessly within here. But right now, you can do it manually in the Discord. So that mission that we started, this is the mission. Guys, you can do it if you want. Go through the game. You can talk to the guy. He tells you, no, you you like that you just keep playing the mission and the whole point of the mission you collect resources at the end so now guys when you have those resources you can then craft also not only can you upgrade with the weapons you can craft these nfts now these nfts can be traded on the market the last time i checked each of these is going for about three mana which is about 0 0.8 dollars uh, right now for each so that's pretty pretty insane now there's these little birds here that's pretty in interesting I hope this turns into a wolf. There's a whole bunch of things that these guys have programmed within this game and it's a new game. Now you can click on this to turn into a wolf which makes you a little bit stronger you can fight these enemies. Right now it's not showing but it dis if it displays because sometimes the game uh, I, I guess it struggles to interact with Decentraland sometimes. It, th there's a few kinks that need to be ironed out with Decentraland itself but yeah if it shows you will see it. There's a bunch of things you can do. Now there's a pouch here that you're given. You can also call your pets. I'll explain those. Uh, exactly the wolf was there it happened it, it appeared for a second it appeared for a second try it again now you have a, a little pouch here where you can see the current missions going on or finding Cullen. that's one of the missions you can click the resources that you're attaining when we mine iron we can get also these resources but we also get other resources for killing guards for killing pigs you can get for example meat for killing these pigs and you can as you do the mission you can also interact with these different characters and you can do other things so you can also for example kill these butchers to get bones as you mine from the mining area that you saw you can get metal but you can also gain you can also get these little gems right over here so it's pretty interesting so guys there's a lot you can do i urge you to come and explore here and when you upgrade you can actually get very invaluable nfts now another interesting thing about the portals the infinite nature of the land in the central land for example there's an npc character here asks you for like 5,000 wood I've already paid this guy uh, if you're a certain level of mining because as you perform all these different activities your level that you're seeing over here for example assassin level meat collector level mining level woodcutter level all these levels increase depending on how much you're grinding in this space now these other materials that you can get when you click on that boat guys what's pretty interesting is that on this on this same piece of land you can actually leverage it for a, another experience another experience and that goes into the infinite nature you own one piece of land but you can leverage it for multiple experiences and that i think to me it, it exponentially increases the value of land so you can of course you can talk to this character he tells you what are you doing in the world stuff like that but then you can also when you fight these bosses you need to be pretty strong they give you bones you can collect these you can collect bones you can collect more coins and they also give you these vows these vows give you experience it's a new feature a brand new feature that these guys just introduced into their game so it's pretty pretty interesting stuff you can build all, you can make all kinds of experiences within the central land and i'm going to show you a, a third portal that actually leads you to another experience that portal that you're seeing there leads you outside of the game but i'm going to show you a portal that gives you another experience in a different part of the game so you can see you can also fight scorpions it's pretty interesting these things were designed by actual teams and this experience was programmed and designed within the decentralized software uh, uh the sdk software development kit by these people and they've created these experiences 
these because these are the types of experiences they want to see so you can create whatever experience that excites you that's that's the uh, interesting thing about decentraland so i think this is the portal let's first see or is it the other one let's try and jump in through this because one of the portals actually leads you outside back into the other space and one of them leads you into a completely different space so which means these multiple massive utility you can use with these decentralized pieces of land and i think well we this is just the tip of the iceberg this is just the beginning to see how these things are leveraged and i'm pretty excited to see these kinds of development oh so guys you can see this is a whole other different experience within dice masters look at this this is all on the same piece of land this is a different experience on the same piece of land guys and there's an exit portal down there so you can do some parkour run around this is so if you're if you're wondering why this stuff is pretty interesting it's because of things like this that we've never seen being ever being done in the world um or in the virtual world should i say it seems like a joke but people making it takes a lot of effort to create these experiences first of all and also these people have managed to monetize the experiences which is very very interesting guys so you can see there's a whole different experience on the same piece of land and of course you can exit on the exit portal and decentraland is still starting out is still developing is still improving and as it improves <clears throat> i think we're going to see more mind-blowing experience especially with these people that explore these spaces guys there's a lot that could be said you can turn into wolves you can mine resources you can call pets actually you can call pets so another monetization scheme that these guys have done or rather an interesting aspect of the game is that you can increase your luck you can increase your health by buying these pets you can also let's first talk about this menu this menu you can look at the king's mission uh with this bag you can look at the items you, you've collected on a daily and on this menu you can actually buy the uh the different pets like a dragon owl and phoenix the phoenix increases your health the owl i think increases your luck then the or the dragon then the other they all have different features and then if you depending on how you how you how often you visit the game you get also additional resources and if you're wearing an aura every 15 minutes you get about 2.5 coins and remember these guys are developing a decentralized exchange where you'll be able to exchange these items for different items now in here if this is syncing properly some issues with decentraland You'll be able to see your character with whatever wearables you have on in the middle here and you can see these golden items i actually already uh, acquired them and you can see that you're also wearing the aura right over here but of course there's some um some issues with the interface that's why it's appearing as a white screen here guys if, if the pets are here you can actually take a look at them your pet is on the way that's the last thing we'll look at so that's pretty interesting the first time i saw that experience i was mind blown so you can see the pets are flying to us and when they're flying when they're levitating or flying right above you they can give you these different perks within the game perks within the game so guys if you're still confused i urge you to come check out dice masters the other exciting games that i'll be bringing to you guys or not just games or other experiences within these virtual worlds especially decentraland because they show that the people have learned how to code and use these software development kits but they've also showed that these people have learned to create these experiences not only just create them but also monetize them and that's 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 the way you get adoption guys i hope you learned something people and i urge you first of all before i leave let me show you these wearables some of these wearables are going for a lot of money like the sword that you saw the minor jacket that you see is going the last time i saw it go for about 60 70 mana uh, some something like that and then these other wearables that you can put on for example if you've gotten them you can wear the lumberjack which can give you access to the lumberjack guild and then these others like this and this hoodie stuff like that so you can get these experience these nfts they can not only trade on the open market for actual money that can help you in your real life but also they help you they give you perks within this game which increases their utility which in turn increases their value so as a last thing dice masters congratulations for creating some an immersive experience like this and i'll be showing you guys some of the other exciting experiences that i've been looking at in the decentraland ecosystem and as we move forward in the crypto space other exciting experiences in the crypto space regardless of what they are all right guys i hope you really i, I really hope you learned something in this video and i hope something clicked and open your mind was opened about these experiences and i'll see you on the next one take care bye bye